Hi Rob, it's John, back here with part two. Uh, this little program I'm using is called OBS Editor, Open Broadcast Studio. It's kind of cool. It's got these sources down here that are plugins that you have to add before they even start working. If you decide to ever do one of these. So I'm going to go right into SketchUp for part two. Let's get started here. Okay, so we're almost loaded. We're loaded up. Oh, we're gonna close this. I added this plug in. I don't know if it's the greatest thing. Let's get rid of it. Okay, so we go to file. Gonna open the project. Our upstairs project here. Now, <clears throat> last time we put together a small little model of the upstairs, and I want to show you how to work inside your model because it's kind of cool. I did all this work, but when I get to this point, it's kind of hard to get into the bathroom here to work on the walls and put mirrors and fixtures and different stuff. I'm going to just click our zoom out button here. So remember, you go to view, you got this toolbars. And toolbars likes to load. Um, it's a little slow because I'm doing the screencasting. Uh, it's just a lot on the process for the CPU. So Right here is our section pane. It's underneath sandboxes, above shadows, and you want to check sections on. Uh, I'm going to close that because I got them open. So where this little blue circle-y thing up here is, is your, your section plant pane. And to the right is normal perspective. Uh, this displays a section pane if it's already up. Uh, you can turn it on or off. And then if you need to add a new section plane, the, the one to the left is add a new section plane. So that's kind of what we're going to do right now. We're going <clears> to <throat> figure out, let's add a new section pane. So this is a section pane. It looks like this little box. It's tiny, but the tininess doesn't matter because as soon as you click on it, it does the whole entire uh, uh, viewing pane or plane of the entire program or the model. So it will follow and contour edges. So if you had like this 90 degree angle, if you put it on uh, that that pane, that section plane, uh, it's going to follow that. But normally you're going to want your keyboard in front of you. And if you got your arrow, uh, your arrow keys, if you scroll through your arrows, uh, they're going to give you different uh, section pane. So this one's going to go like this. This one, the blue one's going to cut the building in half uh, from floor to ceiling. And uh, the green one is going to do for, from front to back like this. So what I'm going to do is use this red one. And I just wanted to work on the bathroom. You can kind of adjust where you want it or you can just, you know, you're going to be working on this. You can just place it. Now, if you want to get rid of it because you can add multiple, say I go up here and add a new se section plane, I can add a one that goes like that. If you just click on it and hit delete, it'll get rid of the six section plane. But uh, you can get your move tool and click on the, the section plane, pane, and uh, it will move your, your section pane. And you just want to make sure you, your view is on. Uh oh, I'm gonna. Okay, I'm just gonna go back to here. So this is our move tool, 
And we're going to move up to this bathroom here. We kind of want to work into the bathroom, and I just want to show you a reason why. So I pushed this back, and now I'm kind of like right here in the bathroom. Well, now that we got this section cut out of the section pane, we can get in and work on the walls. If, you, if even the appliances are out of the way, you can push them out of the way, and you can get more of the wall to work on like that. But I want to show you what would I want to work on inside, uh, you know, the bathroom that's important. Why would I need to cut this section out? And I want to say a towel rack. We need a towel rack. Okay, so we can do a quick and easy towel rack. I want to show you how to do this. So say I need the towel rack's always got a, a flange up against the, the mounting flange to have the tail rack, towel rack against the wall. So we got that mounting flange there. We got to make it a mounting flange. So we we bring it out. Let's see. We don't want a huge flange. We want it, you know, just uh, comes out a little bit from the wall like that. We got a little mounting flange. It looks good. Now, I'm, I'm not sure if you want a square bar or a round bar, but... I say I want to make like a little uh, uh, a round bar. I can uh, take this, my space bar, get my selection thing, hit my M for my move tool, and I can kind of come in here and try to center this a little better. That, that looks pretty good. So we got that, and we got our flange, and we got where our, our towel rack bar is going to come out. Now, we need to make a working path, uh, especially since there's going to be a, a little one-inch bar that comes out to push the bar out from the wall so you can hang a towel, and then you're going to have a, a, a bar going across. Well, that working path, you want to be centered inside what your bar is going to be. So that, that circle is going to be your bar. Now, it's so tough. There's different. There's X, Y, and Z axis. And when I'm looking at it this way, it's only allowing me an, an X and a Y axis. And, and there's no Z axis. I got green, and then there's a little line from the edge, and it's not working. So... I want that working path to actually come out from the wall. So to do that, I'm going to have it come out like this. That red means it's on the red axis. It's going to come out that way. But I want to make sure that that path is centered. So I'm going to first click once there, and then I'm going to move so I can get to that, that red axis. And you know, I want my my path to come about that far out the wall. Now, when we zoom back, that whole little thing is an item. It's got a flange. It's got where the pipe is going to come out, and it's got a little bit of a line for a working path started. Now, if we want to duplicate that, we can select that whole section, press Control, Copy, Control, V is Paste, and we can uh, now have a duplicate with the working path and everything and say we just want to we want to make sure that it's it's level and even so kind of go through and that looks level and even now we got two identical things for the towel rod uh, it looks a little low, so I'll move it up just a little bit. And uh, press spacebar, select out of it. Now, where those two lines are, that working path, if I grab this pencil and I connect the working path, uh, you'll be good. You, so now you got it connected. That's where the towel bar is going to be. Press space to get out of the line tool. Now, if I click on the line, it's just going to show sections of the line because the line's not connected. So if I use this uh, follow me tool, 
it's only going to go to wherever you selected that line. So I'm going to control Z. So what I'm going to have to do is press space bar, get my selection tool, select a line, press shift, select the other line that's supposed to fall, press shift, select the other line that's supposed to fall. And now when I use this follow me tool and bring it out, look, now we got a, a nice little round towel bar on the, the wall or right where we think it should be. And it makes it a part of the bathroom. It's pretty cool. Now, maybe you don't want a round towel bar. Well, you can go in and uh, select the circle, delete it. You could put a, a square towel bar in there. You select it, circle, delete it. We can take our square tool and uh, let's see. Let's make it more level into the the line. So now we got that square tool. All we got to do is take that follow me tool. Oh, let's go back in our selector tool. We gotta select our path. We're gonna click that, that line. Ah. If we got that line, shift click this line, press our hand tool, press space bar to get to our pointer. Press shift and select that. Uh, we can deselect that while pressing shift to keep the other path. So now we got that working path and we want to do a quick square towel bar. Now, look, we got a cool little square towel bar. If you want a square flange, you just use that square tool, make square flange. But now we added an essential part of the, the bathroom by using this section plane right here. That's kind of nice. So if you want to get out of the section plane, press space bar, select it, and click delete, and it deletes the section plane. And now you're back into your model, and you got a nice little towel bar in the bathroom there. You can actually work on things. And just a you know, quick reference real quick. Uh, you know, say you wanted to do this section plane, you wanted to work on some flooring. And uh, now I can go right in here. And uh, what is it? I could uh, take a line tool you know, from floor end to floor end. And I can click my selector. I don't want that something to be something different, but I got my, I could got colors and I got different materials in here. I could go to my wood, I could select a floor material, and then all of a sudden we got a wood floor, and we could zoom back out. That's our space bar, delete that. Now we got a little wood floor in there with the towel rack and all our essentials, and we can, uh, you know export images too so you know say I wanted to go and uh, I wanted to take a picture of how this wall is going to appear say like that's supposed to be an image of the wall <clears throat> I could just click save my project and I could uh, send the layout select the letter landscape And then all of a sudden, you know, I got a, a nice little rendering of of what that wall in that room is supposed to look like. So that you can do finishes before and make adjustments early before or 
and ahead of time, before and ahead of time. So it's just something like that, and remembering to save, you know, like your projects that you're working on. But I just wanted to run you through that, and uh, you got to turn the se section plane off, you can. And if you press the, the building, it'll return you back to normal if you don't want to delete the plane, because you might need that. You might need to go back to that plane. Well, that's control Z. I moved something. I'm in my move tool. But yeah, you can go right back to it. And uh, if you click the, the house button in the section plane, you can be right back into that section that you marked. So you could do several different sections. Like, uh, you know, maybe I wanted to do this wall back here too. And uh, I click this one off. Let's see. Looks like I can hide that one. So I can hide that. And then what you do is if you hide something, if you go to edit uh, and go to this unhide, you can unhide last. Or you can go to edit, and you can go to uh, unhide all, and uh, it'll bring you up to somewhere. So if I'm on this section plane and I, I right-click on it, I can hide it, and uh, yeah, it'll be on this one. I don't know. You'll figure it out. You can kind of get the gist of it, but yeah, that's just the, the way that it goes. So just work with your section planes, play around with it. And just remember you could flip something over and uh, say you want to make a quick basement real quick. You can bada bing, bada boom and push pull this and there you go. There's your basement to your, your floor. And if you want to look into something, you can select it and hide it. Now you can see what's in there. And then if you want to return it back to a normal state, you can go back and, uh, you know, unhide all and it'll bring you back into it that way. So a quick basement, quick upstairs, you know, I just... So you can know where and how to work on things, that section plane. All right. Later, Rob. Enjoy.